What's going on, everybody? Hi. How is everybody tonight? We already Hi. seen in the chat. Oh, it's all for you. They all came to see you tonight. <laughs> Mr. Fox said, Bo is going to be on the show tonight. You guys all better come and watch. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's been excited all day. <laughs> and now he's freeze up and not talk. <laughs> and Caitlin, welcome. Uh, Caitlin is, uh, well, you have like three, 400 more subs than we do uh, on uh, YouTube. And, and I've been watching your, your episodes lately and uh, your, your fantastic work. And so um, what's going on, chat? Dallas has been here since like 6.15. He's been posting links for everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, when you guys are in here on Night Owls, just make sure that our guests, you give them some love afterwards. Make sure that you guys are subscribing to their channels, hitting them up on Instagram. That's why if you ever need their information, it's always in the intro. <clears throat> and the links are, are being dropped throughout. So Dallas is here. Golden Collectibles is here. Foxy Greedo is in the house. Kimberly Letts, how are you, my dear? Uh, Christina, of course, is here. Super Mod. And Ross is here. Uh, we're going to be running a waffle later um, after Fox comes on for trying try to close something out for Ross. Uh, so stick around for that. We've got some giveaways to do tonight. Uh, Tanisha is here. Uh, girl, you got to tell me if I'm saying your name right. <laughs> I don't want to slander it. I'm, I'm horror. We'll be popping. What's going on? I saw McDorks is here. Savage Finale is here. Mr. Thomas. Who else is here? Okay, hey, Titus, all the way from. Hey, Bo, we got someone from Japan. Yeah. Hey, Titus. Yeah. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Divine Pops. Campbell's collecting. Jaden Christopher's in the house. Oh, virtual hugs going around. Yeah. Who else? Is that it for now? Andrew. Hi, buddy. LBD. Tori's here. And just so you know, the reason we have you guys on tonight, and um, especially is because uh, we've reached out to you guys uh, about the custom pops that you guys do. And obviously, we have that big benefit coming up for Tori uh, and his charity, the Children's Brain Tumor Foundation. And so what I'm kind of hoping is we got about a month before we're going to run that benefit and that you guys tonight, we can kind of talk to you guys about how you guys come up with ideas, what some of the, the different um, kind of loopholes that you guys have around getting out getting around having to completely design something, um, other materials that they can use, what kind of paint is the best uh, and stuff like that. So we're going to kind of lean on you guys and your uh, expertise in that tonight and, um, so I'm, I'm glad that you guys can make it and uh, we'll get going here in just a second. We'll see if there's anybody else that popped in tonight so far. No, I think that's about it. We've got 22 in the chat <clears throat> tonight. And I'm sorry it's a little dark in here. Uh, I'm sitting in a comfortable chair tonight instead of in the kitchen because uh, they're painting in one of the girls' rooms. And so there's painting stuff all over the table. <laughs> <clears throat> and I wasn't about to move it tonight. So, <clears throat> Okay. So um, I don't know if you guys saw today, but there were 43 channels that dropped the uh, CS1, so the comic or collectible swap one uh, videos. Thank you to everybody who came to my premiere this morning. Um, make sure that you guys are checking everybody out who participated in that. It was a lot of work done. Uh, big shout out to uh, Property Outlaws Troy again for my amazing box. I had some great stuff. Hey, Flash Ray. <clears throat> it, was, it was fantastic. So... Uh, that was a lot of fun. And uh, yes, we're on the road to 500. So if we get to 500 tonight, we are going to be giving away some Night Owl swag. Uh, we have everything from blankets and socks to T-shirts and mugs and stickers and everything. So we were, I think, 27 away. 26 No, 26 away. So if we get uh, 26 more people uh, that sub tonight while we're, we're live streaming, we will give out some swag. Um, it's, it's very worth it. I love that. Eric, how's it going? Do not sub to Fox. Yes, Fox is, Fox is against people subbing to his channel for whatever reason. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Too late. I already did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, I don't know why he's so against it, but but it is what it is. So, Miss Caitlin, so um, how did you get into YouTube? And then I, I, I want to know, how did you – what what's – going on with the name. So explain to me how you came up with Funko Pops and Unicorns. Well, remember what I was showing you right before we started the stream? Mm -hmm. I knew I wanted to do a Funko Pop channel. I've 
was wanting to do a YouTube channel three years before I started YouTube. That's how long I wanted to get into it, but I was just way too camera shy. Didn't like the idea of just, you know, pretty much talking to myself in a room. I thought it would be weird for people, like the people I was living with. Uh, but I just finally did it, and at the time I was customizing these unicorn figures. Those were the channels I liked to watch, the doll custom, figure customs, and then Funko Pop review channels. So I just decided to like combine the two. So the first few custom videos I had on my channel um, was of these Tokidoki unicorn figures. Of They were blind box figures, and I got a bunch of doubles. So uh, I actually have another one here. This one, F Freddy Funko isn't on the channel, but Rogue is. Uh, her video. Oh, wow. Um, and I only did a few of them. I did a lot more off camera. They weren't doing too well in views because obviously I was brand new, but I still got uh, discouraged. I still do these from time to time, but I learned that normal custom videos or craft videos or Funko videos did better. So I just started doing Funko uh, customs instead of the unicorn ones. But that's where the name came from, Funko Pops, because that's why I was reviewing and unicorns because that's was the figures i was painting at the time so. now just it, just so everybody in chat knows that uh freddie funko unicorn she just told us before we started tonight she's also donating that to the cbtf benefit so we will we'll have him that night that is awesome one of a kind freddie funko uh unicorn there so that will be uh in the lineup that night so thank you caitlin very much um and then uh we got the fox calls you guys the gator gang <laughs> He's got nicknames yeah. for everybody, but what's going on, Mitch? <clears throat> so, how did you guys meet Fox? I know how I met Fox, which I mean, everybody meets Fox, but he said Doug told us about him. I really can't. He just, uh, you know, from being in other lives, um, and then just started talking to him, and I really can't even remember the first time I talked to him. It's been so long, but you know, it was just one of those things. So. And, uh, I mean, we just started customizing pops because there's so many pops that we wanted that they don't make. And it's like, yeah. or, you know, a different color of certain ones and stuff like that. So, Actually, and I think I'm going to bring up your Instagram so we can show some of the stuff that, that you guys have done. Um, now, in case you guys in the chat don't know, uh, Sack and Pops is who actually made the Fetty Wap Funko for Fox. And I thought you you guys were like custom because um, my brother and I was he was talking to me he's like why can't we three D print something and I don't know have you guys ever thought about that about three D printing like a, a prototype and then painting it it's the the all the I don't know much about three D printing but like the ones that I've seen people have they're like they look real real raw like um, I don't know what you call it like they have a texture to it like not, yeah yeah not smooth. And I'm sure there's a lot. I mean, I'm sure you can sand them down and stuff, but it's like, ah, I don't know. Like, it's all the customs I've ever made, I've been able to get a body from somebody and then a head from somebody else and make what I want, you know, and then paint. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, if I had a 3D printer, I'd definitely play with it, that for sure. But uh, I don't know. You knew, how to just use it. If you knew how to use it and you had the space to do it and you had the money to invest in one, then I would attempt it but it's not something that i'm actively investing in right now you know yeah so we have four in my family um how i met most of these people in here was the the very first uh fundraiser i did which was for the local high school um we ra i sold off like 70 of my pops um to rate and i raised 700 dollars for um the high school here and they ended up buying more 3d printers and stuff. And they've been, they were printing the face shields for the first responders when COVID first started blowing up and mm -hmm. my family got into it too. So we have, I think there's four, it's three or four. I'm not sure. Um, but I know for sure we have three. And so my brother's, my brother is actually playing around right now. I have a 1950 stove in my house. So he's playing around with trying to reprint the, the dials that have broken so I, I have oh, yeah. that I have to swap around. So he's going to try and reprint me some of those. And um, and he's done some other really cool things in, in there as well. I, I know that they have the the kind that builds in, in like 
liquid, which I think turns out smoother than the actual trace printing or whatever that they, they normally are. But, um, hey, Bo, Mr. Fox says that you guys went to college together, and he, he said you just age better. <laughs> <laughs> I also seen the other day where they have, like, some kind of 3D printer pr pen or something like that. Oh, have you the seen 3D that? pen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I've seen somebody yeah. using that and making stuff with that. I thought that was kind of crazy. Somebody made a video of it. They called it Vivio. The video was Don't Make Him Great. Oh, yeah. Well, I was actually going to ask you guys about that next, those 3D pens. Um, because the, like, if you get one of the DIY pops, mm -hmm. would, would that material be too hot? Like, would it melt through the vinyl, do you guys think? Or do you think that it's something that you could actually do? So, like, if you wanted to put a different type of hair on there or add some sort of a, a texture or, or, like, body part or, or like a outfit or something you, you is that something you guys think that that people could use if you go back to my the last couple of video i think that i put up uh i actually did a resin goggle for the pop head and i said in that video the resin that i use the uv resin gets hot like i've burned myself from it because it gets i've used it on metal fasteners and stuff and touched it uh and it didn't do anything to that pop so I don't think it would have. I think it has to be extremely high temperatures uh, yeah. for it to melt. I will say <laughs> I've worked with older pops before, um, and I've used acetone on it, and the acetone has melted some of the plastic off, so maybe the older stuff, possibly. But I don't think any of the uh, more modern pops. And when I say older, I mean like when Funko first started doing them. So. Now, Caitlin, when I saw you with that new new type of clay that you said is a little more flexible. So even after you you had to bake it though still, um, is it an option for for us? And that stuff looked really cool. It comes in a lot of different colors. But is there an option that you can kind of form it on the pop, then kind of take it off, bake it, and then be able to somehow like glue it back to it? Well, if you're talking about baking stuff and gluing it back onto it, then polymer clay or the cost clay that I was using would be your best bet. But if you're talking about just sculpting directly on the pop. There's three that I've used uh, in the past. Only one of them I currently use and probably ever will use. First is air dry clay. It's cheap. It's easy to find. You can find it in any craft store at all. You know, Crayola makes it. Um, but over time, it can dry out. It can be crumbly. It's good for if you're starting, I would say. Uh, or if you put a lot of coats of, like, super glue or something on it to try and seal it. It might be uh better for it because that's what i'd used on my first pops uh i just noticed them starting to crumble after about a year or so um the next is this thing called suguru suguru is actually an air dry rubber um so you can sculpt with that the same way you can use clay it doesn't take the paint very well because it's rubber um so that's something you have to kind of work around but the one i'm using right now is epoxy sculpt it's a little bit more expensive but it's so durable. It's rock hard after it's uh, cured. It air dries. And you can smooth it out. It can be sanded down afterwards. Make a perfect blend into the pop. I mean, it's the easiest stuff. It, it's easy to use. You have to use two equal parts. It's a chemical, pretty much. But still easy to use. And... It gives you just a really good finished product, and it's not going to weather away. It's going to take the paint really well, so that's what I use, epoxy sculpt. Now, with the with it being epoxy, do you have to work with it in small batches because it cures in, in a certain amount of time? or It hardens completely after 24 hours. You have about a three-hour window of working with it after it's been mixed, so you still have plenty of time. Okay. Plenty okay, pretty cool. So, so does it does it attach to the pop, or are you gluing it? Okay. It's, it's an adhesive. So okay. you can, you know, it's originally used for like if you want to patch a wire or something. So gotcha. it's natural adhesive. It will, in fact, I actually tried. I had a commission. I had to make a cape for a pop and I didn't like the way the cape turned out. And I was actually trying to get it off. I could not. I was trying my best. I was using tools to try and get it off. I'm like, it'd be easier just to re sculpt the uh, cape that's on it, like extend the cape that I already put on it than to take this thing off and remake it so oh, wow. so do you get that in stores or do you have to order it online? i order it off, I order it off amazon gotcha 
Yeah, and I can't find it in stores, so I order it off Amazon. All right. Uh, would you be able to send me a link and maybe I can, you know, put that on, in the description later on? Yeah, I use the lower batches. You can be, get them, you know, in larger sizes and then, you know, different colors and stuff. But I just get the natural gray stuff. Yeah, I'll find it here in a second. Because I want to do something like, uh, we've got some blanks. My mom's going to do one. My mom's really into painting stones right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think she's in here, but uh, I don't, I mean, they look cool. And, um, but I, I was like, you're painting what? I was like, you know, that rocks aren't pets anymore. Right. That, that kind of went out in the seventies, but uh, they look really cool. She's going to use them to decorate outside of her she shed. So um, kind of just brings pops of color and stuff like that. But uh, you guys are amazing. And that's why I wanted to bring you on. We've got um, another guy who's doing a custom that I just talked to today. He's going to do a horror custom. So he's going to take one of the Disney figures and turn it into the it clown for us for the, the charity. Um, and then I have a guy working on a Ninja Turtle. I actually won a giveaway and it, he's taken a Ninja Turtle body and he's going to turn it into a night owl. So it's going to be a night and then he's going to have the owl on the chest. So I'm super geeked about that. I may have to bid on that myself just so I can keep it. <clears throat> Eight more likes. Yes, eight more likes. Because, Bo, you're going to love what Mr. Foxy's dressed like. <laughs> okay, Brandy, I sent it to your Instagram. Thank you so much. No problem. Did you get stuck on the, this high seesaw at the playground? What are you talking about, Fox? Hello, <laughs> Kelly. How are you? Hey, Kelly. Yeah, so I don't even remember what our first custom pop was. Yeah, we started off like our first customs. We was like putting lights and eyes and doing stuff like that just because we seen some cool stuff like that. And then it kind of went to painting and we haven't made it to the clay yet. But yeah, and, you know, and then making a box, you know, making custom boxes is a whole nother thing, too. That's I'm not doing that. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. like. I mean, once you have your template and you use the same printer over and over and you know what, like, the main thing is getting the right size box. Like, you can get on the internet and download templates and stuff like that, but it takes so long to, you know, once you get the right size format for your printer and all that stuff, then you can just, like, add all the stuff to it, but it's still a pain in the butt, but... Now, are you no. using a, like an overlay over cardboard to do your boxes? Or are you printing right on like a, a like a white background cardboard to do it? No, it's like a, it's almost like a cardstock paper, just like a thicker paper. It's not like the ones that I've done aren't quite as thick as pop boxes. I mean, they still fold good and that kind of stuff. But I, I guess it's something like you would uh. Like putting your house printer for like if, like a photo paper, you know, like a thicker photo paper. I don't okay. know what you call it. Yeah. And then, you know, it's just using a straight edge and cutting the lines and cutting all that out. And, uh, and where, where you know, like plastic I, from, do you just steal it from another pop box? Well, the thing is, like most of them that I'm keeping, I don't even put plastic in because if you put them in a pop protector, you can't even tell they got plastic or not. So, I'll just put them in a pop protector and you can't even tell. Like the one I sent Fox, I put, pla I just had, you know, you can find pops for a dollar sometimes and I'll just use parts from them or something. And it was just out of one of those boxes that was crushed, but the plastic was still good. So I, I think that's what I used for his. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't remember what it was. It was from the Amigos. Wasn't that what you yeah. used? One of those, yeah. Yep. So, so Caitlin, I want to talk to you your slogan too. Um, you, you have it. It's a community, not a competition. So where did that come from? Oh, shirt. <laughs> oh you have your own shirts? Yeah. I have, have the pride one on tonight, and then I have the classic pink, purple one, and then blue. Do you have a shop, too? It's on Teespring. Yes! Okay. Cool. <laughs> Linked I in my videos. Um, awesome. But the slogan, it's a community, not a competition. So back when the Jolly Bee Pop came out, the Ad Icon, mm -hmm. it was exclusive to the Philippines. Okay. And that was back when Ad Icons, especially, you know, people are still crazy about them. Um, and I love them. But uh, there were so many people admin about getting every single freaking Ad Icon in their collection and having one exclusive to the Philippines. 
obviously a lot of North American collectors couldn't get their hands on it very easily. And a lot of people were angry, to say the least. And they were expressing that anger. And I'm like, they were treating it like, well, my collection's not going to be complete anymore. My collection isn't going to be as valuable anymore. I'm like, make friends. Get on your Facebook groups. Get on your Instagram groups. Find people out there that either maybe live in the Philippines or, you know, just find connections. Make, become part of the community. That's how you get your hands on more pops. And honestly, don't treat it like you have to have the best collection in order to collect. I don't like when people do that, honestly, because they're, I like Funko because of the community that we've formed, you mm-hmm. know? It's very important to me. And mm-hmm. when people come in and just start griping and complaining about really stupid stuff, because, you know, here we are now, that you can buy that Jollibee Pop on Macari for like, what, 20 bucks, 30 maybe? Mm-hmm. And yep. people just did not have patience. They were being so angry and I just, I didn't like it. So that's when I started saying it's a community, not a competition. It just sort of came to me because I'm like, they need to be thinking more about the community and less about the competition. So, and that was really early on in my, uh, when I started YouTube. Um, I know my friend Franklin FM uh, talked about it in a mm-hmm. video and I, I just had to do a little something just to remind people that it's not a com- it's not a competition. That's not what this collecting stuff is about. It's about making the community, and it's about collecting what you love. Because a lot of people didn't even know who Jollibee was. And that was right. something I just didn't understand. I had um, to look it up. I had no idea that it was. It's like a, a, a are, restaurant chain. There, there are some, I think, in America, but not a lot. It's not. It's no. It's no McDonald's. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I've seen a few people from the states eating at them with their yeah. pops or something. I never even heard of it before that. Me neither. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, come up with some kind of saying. I was wanting to try and think of a catchphrase anyway, kind of use for my uh, YouTube. So that just sort of stuck because I just want that to be the constant reminder to people that you don't need to have the most expensive pops in your collection. You don't have to have the most sought after pops in your collection. In fact, that's kind of what makes collecting cool because you can aim for that one day, you know? Mm-hmm. So. No, a- Absolutely. And that's why we kind of came up with our slogan, the every night for everyone slogan, because we wanted this show to be able to, it doesn't matter which collector's group that you're in or who you affiliate with, everybody is welcome here. Um, you know, I wanted to take the politics out of the, out of the collecting. There was so much drama going on, and that's why kind of we Fox and I were talking, and he's like, let's do something where it's not the typical, you know, all we're doing is is waffling stuff off and, and um, you know, just make it an environment where we can meet people. You know, th- th- I hadn't, if I hadn't been, uh, I-, I found you in somebody else's live. I, for- I don't know if it was, I don't remember whose it was, Caitlin, is where I found you. And, and Stack and I found you through Fox. But um, uh, it was interesting to hear about the you and, and I reached out to you because then I started watching your videos and I saw that you do customs and, and, I was grasping at straws because I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I know I need to do something since I'm hosting the benefit. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. So then I started watching your videos. I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. And then Stack and I started going through your your pictures. And I was like, well, okay, now Baby Yodas are a dime a dozen. And you did that sweet glow one. You know, and yeah. that thing is sweet. Yeah. And I mean, that's something so easy. Like, I mean, it's, I mean you can't tell it's a glow, but I mean... It's so cool. I mean, it glows. It glows better than Funko's pops. I'll tell you that right now. Because the only pops that glow like that that Funko makes are the ones that are made out of the glow in the dark vinyl, and they don't hardly even make those anymore. I mean, there used to be a few of them, but yeah. And I mean, that custom's easy. I mean, that's an easy custom to do. Now, okay, so both of you guys on the glow paint stuff. So like specifically on the baby Yoda. So I thought about, wouldn't it be cool if I sketched the, um, the, their, uh, what is it? Is it, the, it's not their creed. When he, when he kills that one horned animal and that becomes what's stamped on his shoulder blade. So I forget what it's called. 
his crest, mm -hmm. whatever. Can you do that? Like if you did a glow paint on baby Yoda's head, could you do a different color of glow paint over the top of that, of that logo so that it was, it was something that would kind of stick out or, or like do like no, a, no, two different colors of glow, either two different colors of glow, or maybe like on his robe somewhere, do a smaller one that was like an Easter egg. Like you wouldn't know until you actually put the black light on it and it started glowing that it was, it was a glow paint. But I thought that would be something cool to add on to there. Like, you know, he, he doesn't have the necklace on, so let's let's put the little the little crust on there. Yeah, I mean, like that kind of right there, I use like, most of the time I use the spray glow paint. Because like, with that Yoda, I just took, all I did was take the head off, sprayed the whole head, and then painted the eyes black again. So that, you know what I mean? It's just, it's easy. And then like the hands, I just brush painted those. But... Like you're saying, if there if there's something you want to cover up, you can either you know just make a template out of tape or something and put it on there, and then whenever you spray it, it won't spray on that, and then you take it off. You know anything you want to cover up or anything like that. So the yeah. the brush the brush glow paint and all, yeah. another thing with the glow paint though is like that Yoda or the child whatever you want to call it, the color green of his head. Like the lighter the color, the better it works. Like if it's white, mm -hmm. it glows really bright. But if you spray it over something black, it doesn't glow that great. So it's like, okay. you know, you need you need a good a good light base. And I mean, what you can do that with most pops, anyways. All you gotta do is, you know, take all the paint off of them, and that takes five minutes. So now, Caitlin, you have your your little unicorn sticker that you put on your customs, and and I, I know Stack, and you've got like some different custom, like chase ones and stuff like that. You've done like the white and the blue, I think I saw on him, and then you've got some other ones. Now, do you guys get those printed by a company, or do you just buy, you know, stickers that you can get at like a like a Office Depot and print them yourself? Well, mine no, was mine. Designed by, mine was designed by completely Corey. Let me say that because I cannot do okay. any art to save my life it just doesn't work for me i don't like it i can't do it so Corey designed my stuff all my stuff including the shirt um and i get mine printed by sticker mule oh, okay really easy mine are uh mine aren't that exciting mine are just made on my printer upstairs and then i'll just you get i used to have a bunch of them all they were were like they were called sticker protectors for funko pops i don't know where i got them at but all it was was a circle and it was clear. You know, sometimes you'll get a pop mm -hmm. and the stickers coming off. Somebody was making circle clear things to go over those. And I had a bunch of those. So I just print the sticker, or, you know, I just print the logo off of my computer and then put one of those over top of it. And you never know there wasn't a sticker. So, so they've got a but, couple questions that we'll put in there. Um, Dallas is asking, what kind of paint would you recommend for a custom tiny ghost? I would just use regular acrylic paint, just like I do with the pops. Yeah, I don't do tiny ghosts, so I'm not too sure. I imagine it's made out of the same kind of material, close enough. I like that's what I would, I've never held one in person, so I'm not for sure. And then Eric asks, uh, Caitlin, do you ever do like a tutorial video to show how you do a custom? I have multiple custom videos out on my channel, uh, and I just go through how I make that individual pop. So, you know, if you go... It'll take you a while, but if you go through all of them, you'll get all my tips and stuff. I would I would personally recommend, if you're trying to figure out how to get into it, I would recommend my James Dieter custom, because there I use some different kinds of materials, and as well as the newest one, the Fastback, because uh, both of them I use epoxy sculpt in, but I also used a new kind of texture paint for the James Dieter one, and the resin, like I said, for the... Fastback, and those are the two oddball materials that I don't use okay. very often, um, but I think it's very useful when you do need it. So, okay, hey, Bo, somebody's here to see you. Oh, goodness, are you, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I am. All right, here we go. Gator Gang, gang Greedo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the baby was so good. Yeah. 
I didn't know they made cage boxes that day. We saw where we got the cage there too. That time for the <laughs> no, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe he got green goggles. <laughs> Where does he keep all this stuff at? It's Target. No, he did work at Target. And he was sitting in the store closet. He was looking at it. Mm. And also, he was in his closet. <laughs> hey, Bo. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What happened? Um, oh, did you say Apollo Creed? I thought you said Greedo. My mistake. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> yes, this is a colander. Ah. Hey, it's a multi purpose tool. Yeah. Oh, that's what he looks like. I tried. I tried. Hey, it's pretty close. Pretty close. Hey, gang. Boat, boat, boat. More fire, more fire. Hey, Brandy. Hi. Hey, Lynn. What are you doing? Nothing much. <laughs> I think the oven is very much. Yeah, that's just going to make yeah. your hands sweaty. <laughs> so this was supposed to be the face thing. And it doesn't stick because, anyways, uh, Bo, I haven't seen you since sophomore year. How you doing, man? How you doing? You got kids? What's going on? <laughs> you got um, kids. Um, oh, no, he got, no I got. Yet. He's got his kid right here. Yeah. yeah I, got you. I have the same amount of children. You're just bigger. Oh, wow. That was fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. It's not mine. <laughs> Whose is it? Anywho, sorry to interrupt. <sighs> Sounds like you just ripped it. What? <laughs> it's, oh my god, I did. <laughs> yep, that's happened to me before. Please don't tell me clothes? that you have to take that back. <laughs> this isn't Lowe's. But listen, I've taken home, taken, taken back. Of... Oh, I lost him. We lost you. Oh, you're back. I'm back. The wardrobe malfunction. Yeah, oh, nice. Wi-Fi malfunction. Not again. Yeah. Come on. I'm fancy now. Well, you're uh, <laughs> you're kind of coming in and out. Hang on. Let me drop you out and drop you back in, okay? All right. Is that any better? No? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> now it almost looks like he's wearing a cape. Almost like it's definitely yeah. new. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. I hope you didn't get any chest hair in there. I don't have any to. <laughs> uh, I do know that there is a cross right in the middle. They've uh, already ate all of it. There's a patch. Bo, did you see him dress like He Man? Did you see that one where he shaved his chest with the cross in it? No, he said he's seen the uh, the slave Leia. He said it was too much sexiness. He had to leave the room. Oh, man. <laughs> Brandy, is that why we got flagged? Is that why we don't have more subs? <clears throat> yes, apparently. <laughs> too much sexiness. Yeah, especially when it's you. Hey, Bo, don't worry about it. That wasn't even his body. Yeah, CGI. 
Yeah, we had to uh, we had to pull the pull his body off out of, out of there. You know, we were, then it was way too sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, get a Han Solo blaster. <laughs> All right, I need to get at this thing. So, are you coming back? Talk amongst yourselves. I'm, not, I'm just like leaving the frame. Okay. All right. Bye. <laughs> He's Bo. back. Bo. Get it, gang. Oh, it's a Fetty Wap. <laughs> it's, That's a, nice. it's the Fetty Wops. The one of one Gator Gang exclusive chase. Hey, we got one of one right here until you make a sticker, too. <sighs> That's a fake. This is real. <laughs> yeah. huh? It's it, it was the extra one left off the bottom of that box. <laughs> That's awesome. You guys make me so happy. I need to. Yeah, I, see, I don't know who is more excited that to be on you guys to be on the show or Fox that you're here because he, he's constantly <laughs> talking about you and he like every he's always in my ear. Stack and pops, we gotta get him on. We gotta get him on. We gotta get the Gator Gang on. I'm like, who is Stack and pops and who's Gator? Uh, not who because I knew who you were. <laughs> like, who is Gator Gang? And he's like, Stack and Pops. I'm like, why do you call him the Gator Gang? You have me so confused. And he's like, it's my nickname. He's got nicknames Randy, for everybody. Randy, get with it. <laughs> I, I understand it now. Are you still trying to get out of your shirt because you zipped it wrong? Yeah. Well, I was trying to like be able to return it tomorrow, but that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You can take it back and broke. <laughs> Hey Fox, yeah, I got thing broke on me. I got my shirts. Oh, what kind of shirts you got? Oh, I like the way you drip. <laughs> the plumbing, yes, that's right. I like the person, not the plumbing. Exactly. So I finally got that in, and Claire showed off that she got her shirts in. I think I've got a mug coming and a sticker coming. I'm actually buying my own stuff. It's not like we're, we don't get it at any cheaper than anybody else. So I'm buying, I have like lots of stuff. And then uh, I created little uh, infant stuff because I have a niece coming in September. So see, you guys do custom pops. I do custom t-shirts. So Bo, we might have to get you. What if we get you a 1730 Leia t-shirt? It has a chase in the front. <laughs> <laughs> you do want him to go back to school, yeah? <laughs> he doesn't have to wear it to school. No, he he wants one of those ones of it where it looks like the, like he's wearing it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can make that happen, Bo. It'll be a one of one. Summertime shirt. Yeah. It'll be your head yeah. on that, that Princess Leia body, that hairy P Princess Leia body. Like okay. a throwover t-shirt he can wear to the beach. Yeah, there you go. I'll, I'll do it. so that, like, it, And it'll be like a pop because your head's so much bigger than the body that I'll put on the t-shirt. Yeah. You you can be the 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 junior version of seventeen thirty Leia. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. If if Bo, by special request, Fox was Greedo and the hardest. The, I mean, by far, big man, big challenge. If you don't uh, accept Randy's gift, the nine hour gift of a shirt, and you don't make it Greedo, I don't even know if we're friends anymore. Because this is all for you. How do you not do Greedo? I can do Greedo. You want Fox's Greedo on a shirt? No, I'm talking directly to Bo. Bo. Oh, I'm sorry. Bo. Bo. <laughs> Greedo or Leia? No pressure. Well, well, it's me either way, but no pressure. Yeah. Now, he's a big fan of Greedo. I'll tell okay. you that. So, done. Boom. Hey, uh, did you see that autographed one that he had, Bo? Yeah, that's what he said. He said, he, did you, "What would you get that out of a band box or something?" Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's he said, Brandy, Brandy, where'd you get that? That's a BAM? Yeah, it's a BAM box. Bo, you don't have one? Yeah. No, he said, uh, he said he's seen collector cars pull it out of their box or something. Hey, hey, Bo, do you want one? Yeah. I have another one. I'll send it to you. <laughs> what? And it's it's a it's a close up of Greedo's head, and then he autographed it. I'll send that to you. <laughs> that that'll be your present for coming on. Okay. You guys just become. Being a bit asleep tonight now. 
<laughs> you, better, you better mail it right now, Brandy. He's not going to sleep till I guess it. I, I will mail it. I promise. I'll get it out to you. I got to find so, some cardboard and stuff to put it in so it doesn't get bent. <coughs> uh, everybody thinks you're cute, Bo. You're, get, you're getting hit on in chat. You got all uh, you, well, the ladies after you. <laughs> Fox, that might be your new t shirt. It's me either way. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Sure. I want to be like Bo. Wait, no. Bo knows Greedo, right? Bo knows Greedo. Yeah. That's very true. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so Caitlin, do you have any like of the customs that just like didn't turn out, but you couldn't throw it away or, or get rid of it because it was just like so uh, such an epic failure that you had to keep it just to remind yourself that this is the worst that I've ever done? Uh, I've never really had a pop fail. I usually just keep working at it until I get it, you know, to where I like it. The closest I've ever had, I did a Batwoman custom before they did the Batwoman pop, which I'll admit Funko's turned out way better than mine because it was like the second pop I ever did. Um, I was going to use Batgirl's sculpt and it just was not turned out right till finally I just went ahead and did another head sculpt with it. But Okay. That's it. I got one right here that didn't turn out. I got an epic fail on a Mr. Minute. I was painting this one as Pennywise, and instead it just turned out. I just I got frustrated with it and took all the paint off of it, and now it just looks like a prototype, and I keep it in this box. Now, did you custom make the, the bloody protector? No. I ordered a bunch of them from somewhere a while back. I don't even think that company's still in business. Nah. Oh, that's cool. They had these, and then they had, like, green ones, like, with alien blood on them and stuff. We also got this one back for that. Like, a lot of people don't know that. All you gotta do is, like, this right here. I mean, it looks just like a prototype. Yeah. All you gotta do is put goof off on it, and it'll take all the paint off. Like, <laughs> and people no spend kidding. all this money on it. Yeah, people spend all this money on prototypes, and you can make your own prototype out of any pop. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I still like prototypes, but, you know. There could be some fake prototypes. Is that what you guys are saying? <clears throat> oh. Yep. No, Caitlin, do you That's why, like, last, last year, what was it? Fun days, they were, uh, you know, they give out all the prototypes. And then all of a sudden, there's all these prototypes that were on eBay and all this stuff. And that's what everybody was saying. If you're buying a prototype off of eBay right now, make sure they're putting a picture of, you know, fun days, something from fun days with it to let you know that it's real because I mean it takes you a toothbrush and some goof off and you got a prototype in a couple minutes mm -hmm. both that I got came straight from Funko so I don't order anything online yep. ever ever yep huh. and you see people with hundreds of prototypes and you I don't know I think that that worst whole room with a Funko Pops was just a prototype yeah. and he made like this big huge Funko Pop was a he turned it into a prototype. Yeah. It was cool. Yep. Now, do you guys have you guys met each other in the in the custom pop world before the two of you guys, or is this a, your guys' first time meeting? We've been in chat Absolutely. together before, but this is our first time meeting. Yeah. Yep. So I'm trying to find more people like you guys that would, you know, I found another one today. Um, a, a gentleman that's doing the the Pennywise thing, but I'm trying to find more people like you. And what I want to do is showcase your stuff and showcase your your social medias and everything else. And actually, Fox, I was thinking about something. If we can figure out something to do on the front of the shirt, but then take everybody who donates a custom and put their logo on the back of the shirt as everybody who participated, who donated something. I thought that might be cool. Like, what do you think? Yes? No? Yes. I just like make put all the logos on my beard. And their, their logos. Well, that just takes beard. a sticker. We can just send you a bunch of stickers and you can do that. No, yeah, that's gonna that's hurt. Them. Bo, tell him. A sticker is like a band aid. No, that's gonna hurt. Bo, no, who, you, who are you, you shaved his chest. He shaved his leg. He can put a sticker in the beard. And yes. ate the chip. What'd you think about that video? Oh. I don't know why. He liked it when you ate the chip. Yeah. This is the only <laughs> sticker I'm putting on his beard. Whenever I screenshot it and there was snot rolling down your face. <laughs> uh, that's his second most famous picture. 1730 Leia is his most famous picture, and then the snot face is the other one. Yeah, well, you know, I'm all over the place. 
Me when I don't know what to do when the TV <clears throat> on the internet. Oh. Bo, did you see him eat the hot peanuts? <laughs> no. Okay, that Wait, snot is worse. Chip and not the peanut? Oh my god. Oh, the, 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 the snot in the peanuts is way worse. You have to go oh, you have yeah. to find that one and watch it. What? Caitlin, did you see that? Did you see when I we did. did those? Oh my god. Randy, I, I went to school with this guy. Why are you trying to embarrass me? <laughs> if you want one more custom artist, what I, who I was talking about a while ago, Corey, he doesn't do a lot of custom work, uh, but he does some. Isn't that who we were talking to earlier today, Fox? Oh, yeah. He did the uh, alien Corey? shirts for Larry. Yeah. Oh, this is how it looked, yeah. just so you don't have to watch it. Like this. <laughs> it was literally that long. Like this. Like, actually, no joke. And I didn't know because my face was on fire. And it was just like, <laughs> Randy, are you, are you okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you're not going to try and take that clay back. You know what's funny? I'm I'm not afraid to put it any well, <clears throat> but it's non toxic because it's Crayola, right? Is that the well? It's, but the it's because kids would put it up their nose. <laughs> yeah, like who does that? Yeah. Now, does that, does that is that <laughs> type of clay? Does that stuff hard? Bro, God, is that the one that you were talking about that bro, gets bro, you're such a man. No, that's more like play doh. I wouldn't use that at all. Oh, okay. They, but, uh, Crayola does make a brand of air dry clay. It's not their model magic. Okay. That I would use. What did you call me? Yes, I've been referred. To as is model magic? That's your new nickname. Oh, Bo is oh. Bo. Yes. Work. Work it, Bo. Oh, uh, whatever that music was on, he was dancing all over the place. Look at the camera. Work. Work it, Bo. Work it, Bo. <laughs> Look at him shake his head. <laughs> Bo, Bo, I need a favor. Because these people in the chat, these people, these non binaries, these things. <laughs> Bo's like, I know what that means. Like, why are you using it? Anyway. So, Bo, can you pick somebody randomly in the chat? Somebody you've never seen a name of. Like, actually, you know what? No. How about this? Bo, I'm pretty sure, smart cookie monster. You know who leaves comments in your videos, right? I bet you do. Yeah, you respond to them. So, how about this? Find somebody in the chat right now. And not just like somebody says me, 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 but not that our, you know, viewers do that. <clears throat> Tell me who you recognize from the comments of the stack of videos in the chat right now. And they get this. Look at all our um, vloggers. Mm -hmm. All right, Bo, so you get to scroll through the chat and you get to pick who's going to get that. Who do you recognize that leaves the most comments on the stack in videos? Or you can say, hey, that's a new face. Maybe they should go sub to Bo. What do you think? Either way, no pressure. Mm, Savage Final. Ooh. Savage Finale? Yeah. Thomas. Is that a, Bo, is that a new sub <clears throat> to you? Or do you like, you recognize that Thomas David's Davis super blast so savage finale is always commenting and saying, Hey Bo, or is this like a new Bo? Hey Bo or new Bo? Hey Bo, new Bo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, congrats. Thomas Davis, I know you're. Wait, Thomas Davis? Is he from the Louisville? Mm -hmm. Have y'all met keep him? Going. We'll, we'll let you keep going until you get it right. <laughs> oh, oh. I've done this before for like an hour. Louis, no. is it, Bo, is it Louisville? Is it Louisville? Mm -hmm. Is it Louisville? Um, that's a, that's a, are you, wait. How do you say it? Um, um, Louisville. He's still in training. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great, that's actually a great choice. Mr. Thomas Davis, Superfly Soul, Savage Finale is a great choice. Support of every channel ever. I love that guy. Love him. He's a board member, too. And he's a board member. Not rigged. 
Oh, no, it sounds rigged now. Bo. <laughs> oh, Bo. Bo. Bo's our, Bo's our newest Patreon. Y'all got to him before I could. <laughs> so, Caitlin, do you want to show off some of your customs, like some of your favorite ones that you've done that you have? Uh, they're all upstairs, but if I've gotten out of the habit of doing it, I need to start. But a lot of my older ones, including all the unicorn ones I've ever did, is on my Instagram. Okay, I have you up right now, so hang on. We'll, we'll... You have to scroll, but they there. All right. So you do a lot of glitter, right? I used to. I actually have a closet full of about 25 pops that I glittered and never did anything with. Um, and I've glittered some Pez's recently. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I just don't enjoy it as much as I do repainting and customizing, but I can still do it. Yeah. So, this but, is the one that you sent us for the... Uh, yeah, I was putting it up there to sell That's first, beautiful. and I heard about y'all, so I just donated to there. So, it's not so for sale about y'all. <laughs> So yeah, that one that one I have in my possession, and that's for the benefit. So that one's coming up, Ross. My luck and sure you're here, yay! Finally. <laughs> wow. Ross feels attacked. Ross. That's my Etsy. You, so. You get a bid on that. Batman's been sold, and the Care Bears and the thing from Nightmare Before Christmas is still up there, though. You see those two. Those are cool. Look at the ice cream one. That is awesome. <laughs> that and one took me like a day. One? It's so easy. Wow. That's super cool. So how did you get the ice cream texture on there? Uh, are you talking about the skin is just paint, but the chocolate dripping is fabric paint. And then the clay or the sprinkles are just Palmer clay. So let's scroll down here. Let's find some more of them. It's cool. Nothing on there is private. So that was like a hint to one right there. Oh, look. Hey. What are you doing with that white ranger? Hey, back off. She's I made her. a more for guest. it. I metallic it and made it We're a little more for, for its hand. That was just me trying to... Get, that head was so hard to get off compared to all the other... I don't know what it was. But I had to post it because I was angry at it. Check this <laughs> out. Look at this uh, one. I got the bag. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hang on. Let me, I'm going to put you up. Got Ooh. this one in the mail today. Some of the new Ooh. ones... Look at this. So some of the new ones, you don't even have to do anything. I mean, they just pop right off. Yeah, some of them they do, yeah. Like. <laughs> Are you going to do something with that one, the American Psycho one? I just painted this one just like the Chase since I didn't get the Chase. I just got it in the mail earlier. Holy, I would have thought that was the Chase. That I mean, that's what I tried to do. I just tried to paint it just like the Chase. But like the, I, this one's pretty cool. Like this jacket that comes on him is like, yeah. like soft rubber. Oh like, wow! I hadn't seen one like this before. Like you could probably take the jacket. Like if you cut the jacket, you probably take it off. But yeah, so that one's going back to Amazon with that box. Yeah, that's horrible. I got a couple back here. Like I've. <sighs> I've done glitter on a few. Like I glittered this one. This one doesn't show up going good on camera though. The glitter looks dark. I yeah, I can see it. But it's like pretty bright gold. And then, you know, just the box. Cherie is the queen of glitter and she says she learned from me. I don't think so. I think she just had this hidden talent in her. So. Yep. And like I haven't done that much glitter, but the glitter I've done isn't been like really intricate stuff. But like if you're just covering like big areas with one color, it's not that hard. Like, but you know, like whenever you get into the smaller stuff, I could definitely oh, see it. Hey, can you I, click on those little hearts there for a second? Where? These? Yeah, those little hearts. So just so anyone knows, if you want to check out my channel, I can make larger ones like that, like circles or hearts, uh, and put little images in them. I usually do Funko Pops, and that's usually what I do for my giveaways. They're little resin pieces that I turn into magnets. So Very cool. Uh, I don't usually give away Pops. I give away one-of-kind art pieces, pretty much. So, just so you know. Little plug there. <laughs> Very cool. Yes, definitely check her out, and especially if you guys are going to do something custom. I just saw Iron Man, and I can't figure out where I saw him. Oh, that was a glitter glow one that I did for my five dollar giveaway. Corey actually donated that to me, and now I believe it's at Doondock. Boondock Pops. Oh, Boondock has that? I think so. Uh, I believe 
Campbell got it, and then she traded it to him for it. Well, look at that. Yeah. That is awesome. The eyes and the symbol glow in the dark. Oh, very cool. And I use so mine. When I, do, when I do glow, I actually mix it with glow in the dark powder. I just put glue and glow in the dark powder and paint it on. Yeah. That's a little better. And you so, how do you, whenever you're doing different colors of glitter, how do you get them not like, like all the ones I've done, I always get like a couple little specks here and there. You know what I mean? One, one of the tricks is to do it from dark color to light color. Because if you do get a little bit of a light color into a dark, it doesn't show up as much. But if you get like a speck of black and say yellow, it'll show up a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's one trick I use. I just go from light to dark or dark to light so it doesn't show up as much if I screw up. And then I do one color at a time, wait for it to completely dry, brush it off as much as possible, coat it in a glue or sealant, nail polish, whatever, then move on to the next color. Oh, you see in clear nail polish. Oh. Well, if you go back to my first glitter video, I got two glitter videos up, including that Iron Man. Um... I use nail polish. I got a big jar of quick dry nail polish from Walmart. And that's what I used for a long time. And people, you can go to the comments of that video. People are mad at me for using that because it'll yellow in so long and it'll look horrible. I've had that nail polish for like, no joke, five years. It has not yellowed at all. I'm sure some, some does. Mine hasn't. Um, and the pops still look great on it. And to me, the glitter looks better because it's glossier. But um, anyway, I switched to glue just to make people happy, <laughs> pretty much. Make people happy. Um, so, yeah, you can use nail polish or glitter. No kidding. Oh, is this is another, what is this? Uh... That's an open bezel resin piece, yeah. Oh. I put that on there because I, I, thought, I thought the eyes, I couldn't tell if they looked creepy or cute, so I let people decide. I think it looks cute. And a little flower and everything? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, oh, where'd it go? Planet. It's on there somewhere. Where did Captain Planet go? I know, I'm coming back. There he is. Captain Planet is on the channel, the full custom video of him. That's my pride and joy, probably. That's my favorite one that I've ever done. <laughs> so what pop did you start out with for this? Oh, what was his name? The body is Superman. Without the, I just took the cape off and remolded the back. So the Captain the body or the head is the dude from Walking Dead that's holding yes. the paper jar. <laughs> that's I awesome. That's so cool. It kind of looks like the Bud Bundy head too. That was before yeah. Bundy was there. I think I don't think right. they made the Bundy. Right. I, I swear, oh, I think people reuses heads too, though. You can oh, see it right there. The one there below it, that's the face sculpt. Oh, wait, so you did that hair curl? It's all yeah. you? Yeah, that oh. hair curl was made of that Suguru stuff I was talking about before. So it can be done. Um, I just find epoxy sculpt easier to work with. Epoxy sculpt. I have to find that. Yeah, that one's nice. Oh. Look, she's... Hey! Yeah, those are the ones I made from Homespun Geek. So, and there's videos. If you ever want to make your own, there's two videos on my channel just telling you how to make those with different backgrounds as well. Look, Chad, I'm giving you all kinds of ideas of stuff that you can make for the benefit. <laughs> and you can go watch Caitlin. I will say, though, if you do how? resin, if you do epoxy resin, which is what those magnets oh. are, use protective gear. Just saying. Well, that's a general life philosophy, yeah. <laughs> I love this one. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah, uh, I, made, I gave those. To my, I made two of them. I gave them to my aunts for uh, Christmas that year. The cardinal is what we. I, I, that's my next tattoo is going to be a cardinal holding a a pink breast cancer ribbon in its feet. Uh, <laughs> Hang on, let me go get something and show you real sure. quick. I got another one. Oh, that is amazing. I wish my mom was in here so she could see that. And stack and don't worry, we're gonna go over to yours next. Ooh, good. Right. Sully. That Sully looks good. 
Wow. What's Sully got going on? Ah, look at that one. <laughs> oh, it's a toilet ninja. Oh, it's a yay egg yolk. What That's Gude Tama, the same people who made Hello Kitty made that thing. All right, hang on, let me. Oops. Oh. I know the lighting sucks, but I made this one. Uh, you know, they say when a cardinal appears, someone's visiting you from heaven. Mm -hmm. Aww. Yep. So this is for my two uncles and my grandfather. And see, that's why I'm getting the cardinal tattoo for my grandma that I lost. Mm -hmm. Because we actually had a cardinal right before, probably a couple weeks before she, she passed away. We had her at my mom's house at hospice. And this cardinal would come and sit on my mom's back deck all day long and peck at the door and peck at the door. And he, but, and then it would just hang out. And so my mom started feeding it and everything and it would hang out. But then once my grandma passed away, gone. It was the craziest thing. <clears throat> Crazy, crazy. I know, it's weird. Brandon, uh, good question. I'm sorry. Time, those... What's up? Bo is, Bo is falling asleep. And he's like, I'm sorry, unicorns and daddy, but he's our guest star time. <laughs> <clears throat> do, you guys, do you guys have the Greedo pop in? The pop pin? No. Oh. We, order, we order some, but they like those you don't get to pick. He's listening. He's a smart cookie. Uh, he's going to give me a drink. You can find specialty shops like I ordered the Wonder Woman specifically from Seven Box of Pop or something. Like but yeah, <clears throat> but just so everyone who's looking at my glitters and going crazy over them, a lot of those are still for sale. So if you go to my what, brain collection the video, the, there's the a the bunch of them. Like a family thing. It's beautiful, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Hey, Homespun, how are you? Cherie's in here. Look at everybody coming in here tonight. Hey, hey, Golden, I'll get. We'll. D I'll DM you the address where to send it after, afterwards. I so grabbed this one while I was up too because a lot of people like this one. Oh, me. that one's very cool as well. Thank I've you. wanted to play with resin. I started watching uh, how to do the dioramas because I like little bitty things, and how to do like uh, like <laughs> I watched them where they just take like a piece of a. Uh, a train track from a model train and then they build like a whole hill and they've got like a movie theater there and all this other oh, it was like amazing hey Bo yeah. what while you're away I, I you're a smart fella do you know what karma is a little bit little bit not yeah well you know how like what goes around comes around like when you do good good comes back at you right and even if it doesn't come back right away just wait for it just keep doing good it'll come back at you do you know what happened while you're away getting daddy a drink see do you remember the gentleman superfly soul thomas davis savage finale that you picked out from the chat do you know what happened when you were away it's karma it's like you know the, it came back into you into your life, you know what he did? He's like, Fox, what? why don't you send Bo a little Greedo? And I was like, I, I took off my Greedo. He's like, no, but Fox, you got something. I was like, you're right. Do you know what's coming your way? Boom. It's a Greedo chase pin in your <laughs> in your life. I think it's Christmas for Bo today. Yeah, what do you think about that? I like that. We haven't seen any of the pins in any stores. I haven't either. I haven't either. At all. We ordered two of them from GameStop while the game <laughs> closed. I see. And they had them in the store for pickup, but that was it. In stores, you can pick. I think it was just blind for online. So I think I the regular many stores one, that have them. The regular one has the vest. This is like. Custom See, glitter. That one's the awful Custom, one. Custom glitter chase like the unicorn face. <laughs> glitter. Some of them are flocked too, I think. No, well, maybe. Box. I might get some like beard, beard hair in there, but it's not real. Anyway. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> no, I'm talking about somebody said the Princess Leia's hair is flocked on the pop pen. Really? That's what I heard. I feel like that's. Interesting. I haven't heard wow. that. That would be interesting. Yeah, somebody unboxed it, and uh, the hair was flocked looks, on it. She looks pretty intense right now. Yeah, she does. Why did Vader looks pretty like you know subdued? <laughs> Leia's like, what? Mm -hmm. What'd you say? What? What? You spent mm -hmm. how much? You spent how much at Lowe's? What? What? Yeah. What'd you say? You spent eighty-five dollars on Funko Pop. You sure about that? You sure? You sure? <laughs> Anyway, congrats. See what goes around comes around. Nice. Way to go, Bo. So I found a couple of people, and just a couple. I didn't do a whole lot tonight because I knew we we're gonna be, we we're gonna be chatting. Who um who tried to do some custom things? So I'll I'll show you guys the uh, what it was supposed to look like. <laughs> okay, that's what it's supposed to look like. That's what it turned out to be. Oh my god! <laughs> I think that's from nailed it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I like the over there. And if I remember right, that girl won. The one who made that actually won. And I was That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> that thing's scary. What did they win? <laughs> That's the worst cake ever. Uh, well <clears throat> no offense, but it kinda looks like somebody dressed a monkey up with a right a blonde <laughs> wig. <laughs> like they dressed a dead monkey up with <laughs> Like that monkey video where he's got like the cape on him. They're giving him a haircut. No, it's mm -hmm. like the monkey juice movie. If you've seen that, it kind of looks like the shrunken head on Beetlejuice. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's it. All right. In a, waiting, in a waiting room. So this is what it was supposed to look like. Yeah. <laughs> what, happened to the face? what happened to the face? I don't even think they got that far, but look at the arms. They're like six miles long. I think he got the chocolate bar and stuffed it into face. He said, I don't know how to eat this. It's like one of those before and after, like a firework went off on me. Exactly. <laughs> and then I found this one, too, because, you know, Car Carol Baskin. Everybody's in love with Carol Baskin. Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, my so God. Bad. Who the heck? Are those Doritos? Look at his stick. Yes, Doritos for ears. It's like somebody's <laughs> ring on the top of the head. It's an orange. orange. Yeah, an orange. And then uh, I, I, I want to say they, they used the medium of ice cream. That was pretty much an epic failure. Mm. I found a couple more, but uh, I mean, I know you guys have seen some of the things that we've done where we've done like the, the Star Wars outfit fails and stuff like that. Yeah. Where's the other one? I was see if I could grab it real quick. Oh, I was dying laughing before I... I came on here. They were trying to do like emoji cakes or something. Oh man! I think I see that. Seeing that one. I see the one where their pool is just like an emoji. If you took all the water, you could see like the big emoji on the bottom. Hmm. Or like here, I'll show you this one. Like when the girl tried to do the the, uh, you know, where you can dip your nails in and you're they're supposed to like get you the colors and everything on them. Mm -hmm. I don't know because I don't have any nails. Horrible. I mean, there's, there's oh. nothing wrong with cake, no matter what happens. <laughs> Epic <laughs> failure. It was like jumping off. Was... What about those? Oh. The cookies? That looks like what I would do, to be honest. I would eat that. I would, I eat, honestly... I would eat all of that. Oh, I, I would eat anyway, because a cookie is a cookie. <laughs> I honestly yeah. you know what? No, this no, one when I saw better. it. Like, who wants candy corn when you can have, like, you know, festive M and M's. Those are like the harvest M and M's. Well, uh, hey, did you have the candy? Did you have the candy corn M and M's? Oh, no. wait, they do that. There's oh yes, they do. After Halloween, they clearanced them at Walgreens for like five cents a pack. I bought a ton <laughs> of them. <laughs> I grew. They grew on me. Trust me. Or this one too, the ocean in the bottle, and then that's what it actually turned out to be. Ew. Uh, it's lake watch, water. I watch nailed it. I watch it all the time. I got it from my buddies. Oh come on, yeah, well I guess it's hard to nail. <clears throat> I have a lot of epic failures when I do <laughs> custom cakes. I've had we had one that completely collapsed, and we had to rebuild it the next day, and then we had like three hours to get it to them. Uh -oh. Bo's getting sassy. Hey, Bo, you want to see some of my cakes? 
I, I mean, you guys are you guys are super um, fancy smancy with your. So I'll show you what I can do with uh, a little bit of fondant. I cannot work with fondant. I've tried it. <laughs> I've tried it once. That's it. Oh, maybe I should probably take that off. See, and yeah, that everybody maybe. gets my no, uh, you information. Were just that your, your Facebook password is fondant. Is that <laughs> capital? I yes. Okay. I hate Fox. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Well, that's part of your friend. I don't even remember my Facebook password. I get on there like once a year. I'm afraid to like log out of anything because I'm like, what is it? What is mm -hmm. it? Oh, I did change it. I don't log in anymore because I only ever go on it on my phone. <clears throat> I entered an old password. Talk amongst yourselves so I can work this out. Here, Bo wanted to show this one. This one's pretty good. Ooh, oh, that's good. That's shiny. Love it. It's shiny. Well, it now was, I have to see it because I'm hearing <laughs> ooze. It was the uh, the body was the gold Spider Man. You know mm -hmm. how they chrome mm -hmm. gold at all of them, yeah. and then the head was the Stanley, like the cheap one you can get anywhere, like the the patina one. You know, so because you can't <laughs> find a regular Stanley head unless it's the patina one or like something real expensive. Does the chrome take the paint well? Because I haven't done a chrome. Well, like the paint, the only ones I've painted a couple of them. Like I painted this one, and then uh, the chrome Iron Man. Like I left most of it the gold or whatever, and then just painted some red. Oh, he did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did like the paint that I use with the brush is like that. It's like the metallic. Uh, it's like uh, for model cars, Ooh, like in Hobby Lobby, right. and they're like real little. Yeah. And, uh, that's the metallic paint that I use on, like, that I've used on these. Yeah. And it, it works good. I've always been afraid to do it because I think the paint would chip off, but maybe I need to try it with that model paint. I know what you're talking about. I see it all the time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like Tester's brand or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, it that's that's the only thing I've used on those chrome ones. I haven't tried spraying them or anything like that. How did I just get in a live video on Instagram when I was on Facebook? <laughs> oh, I didn't know this one existed. I think that's a pretty old one. I need that in my life. Yeah, yeah, there's like three or four from that set. Mm -hmm. oh, I need what Napoleon? Yeah, there's Pedro, um, the girl. Yeah. I watched somebody pull the girl out of the I feel like there was another one. His brother. His brother. Yeah, Kip. Kip. Yeah. Kip. Yeah, my, uh, one of my cousins um, is married to a guy, and, and I always tell him that he looks like Kip. <laughs> it's true, though. Okay, why is Facebook different? It's so weird now. All right, I'm wasting too much time trying to get find to get on there. I don't even know what's going on. It's just weird. I'm trying to get in my uh, my other page, and I can't I can't even figure out how to do it right now. Whatever. I've never seen Napoleon Dynamite. I don't know if Homespun Geek is still here. He's always on to me about that. I haven't watched any. Oh my gosh, it's great. I know. He's got you like it the first video. time. Watch it again. Yeah. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> yes, I love technology, but not as much as you, you see. Yes, I love technology. Tina, eat your dinner. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it from the first time I saw it. There's so many one-liners in there. Yeah, home oh, yeah. this one is still here. I think the only uh, movie complete set I have is the Monty Python, the Holy Grail. Well, hey, Claire, I've just never seen the screen when I hit the home button go to this ever before. I've never seen that before. Caitlin, can I see that? I love I love that set. I don't have any one of them. Can the Monty Python? Yeah, I can go get them. I, love Give me a set. I wish they would have made more puffs from Nacho Libre. Nacho! She's on my home for later. Nacho Libre was a good movie. A good movie. We have to chase and the right one. Not to flex or anything. What are you flexing on? Nacho Libre <laughs> chase. 
<laughs> He's like, you know what? We have to change. Yeah. yeah. He's the only uh, one, the protector, as well as the Entertainment Earth exclusive. He's in the background. If I take him out, the Black Knight, it'll all come down. You can ask Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, Caitlin, I just want you just to go slowly because Christmas is coming up in in what like six months. I want everyone to write this down slowly. So that's Tim the Enchanter from what line? Mind Python Holy Grail. That's right. Box Crown. The only Grail left. And oh, he's got the yeah, the little bunny too. Ah. For an early pop, this one is way detailed. I love it. It's one of the better ones. I love it. I love this whole line. Yeah. Oh, the King Arthur. Mm -hmm. With the coconuts. <laughs> they didn't make him. I wish they made the dude that followed him. Right? I think, wasn't he the one that wrote the, wrote like half the movie? Sir Bedvedere. Yes. Or Bedivere. The Wise, yes. And what weighs more than a duck? You would know every single line to that. Oh, me and Mitch? Yeah. Mitch will kill me with this. Yes. Yeah, your father smelled of elderberries. Yes. African swallow. Okay, and then we got, ah, oh, yes. Just a flesh wound. There, the flesh wound one is the Entertainment Earth exclusive. It's got the arms chopped off. It's in the background. Yeah. We can't get it out, but it would destroy the set, so. Well, because you've already, like, uh, shipped it to Fox. Yeah, so I get it. You don't have to do that. <laughs> Sorry, these aren't leaving. <laughs> hey, Bo. What? Why are we the Gator Gang? Well, why why are we, you know, like Gator Gang? We stick stick together, yeah. I have a question for you. Why am I gonna screenshot you as Greedo? <laughs> oh, that's gonna be his new background on his iPad tomorrow. Yes. That's right. But you know what? I can't replicate daddy's hair. Well, I could because you, you know, could. You I could. Go in costume. But oh, show off that, that haircut right there. Me and your bro. It's getting there. It's getting there. Getting you know. there. So is that long in the back and then really short in the sides? Yep. It was shorter, but you know, we live in Kentucky. You got to have a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I plan to visit you guys one day. We gotta go pop hunting because I don't know if you guys know chat panel. Bo has like a nose for for chases. He just oh that boy can sniff out a chase anywhere. Chase, chase, I, chase. I don't know. It's too crazy. I found like two chases in the wild ever. Like a chase troll, yeah. maybe. I don't know. I think two chase trolls. I, I never. But Bo, just for you, if Rita wasn't enough, but we've been talking about this. Me and Dad even talk. Oh my God, I'm gonna do this. <sighs> oh my God. No. Bo, should I do it? No, I shouldn't do it. I'll go. Just, just one strip, one side. Well, <laughs> well, I'm getting. Listen, no, I like strips. I like chicken strips. I'm getting at least two and two sides. Get him but just Bo, straight right in the middle. Bo doesn't know you. What do you mean right in the middle? You're you're like my college buddy. I look up to you. Why would I shave right in the middle? Because I you just because I would do that. Nah. Right in the middle. He's not interested anyway. So Caitlin, you were saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that I don't watch movies. <laughs> you don't? No one makes fun of me for it. That's the only good movie, apparently, that I've ever watched. Hey, uh, JDC wants you to do the Wolverine beard. <laughs> no. This is <laughs> Bo's night. Bo's night. Don't want her to go home. Don't want her to go home. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh. Do that? <laughs> He's not. Wait, what? Bo. It's getting close. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell. Again. <laughs> Bo, I feel like you don't believe in me. Bo, you've seen me 
as Leia. If you doubt now, I don't even know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't hit that eyebrow. I broke the mic. Oh, there you go. It is happening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's for you. I agree we do. Oh my god. <laughs> get it, gang. Get it, gang. Oh my god. <laughs> Admiral, this shouldn't surprise you at this point. Oh, this might be not surprising. He shows up as perfect player, so I think we're good. Gator gang. Oh my god. Gators are alive! <laughs> yes, for life! Gators for life. <laughs> So this all ties in, chat, to how to like customs to out how to unflock and customize. Yeah, you have a huge flock. chunk hanging on the side over there. <laughs> <laughs> on, on both sides. <laughs> oh, look what you did. Hey. You have to flock a pop now. <laughs> look what look what Bo's got. Yes. Oh yeah. Again. Oh my gosh. Now you have to, more, you're going to have to finish it now or you're, you're going to look ridiculous. I have more, I feel more aerodynamic. <laughs> this is a lot of hair. This is a whole <laughs> lot of hair. You can flop a pop now. I can. I can actually uh, build a girlfriend for Doug. <laughs> I have a request that they want you to do a fancy mustache. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. No, he just gets dunk game and just tapes the hair to his, his face. Okay, so so if this is your sticker, hey, it's good. If this is your sticker, look at my hair. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of hair hanging. I mean, we might as well. Get or get. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. It's still coming out? Okay. Kaylin, you and I can just sit back and watch. Who's the creep in the hallway back there? That's Ross. Oh. I'll pull him back out. <laughs> well, what side? Which side? This one? Which side? This one? This yeah. one? Um, yeah, yeah. He's like, okay. he's like, you gotta do both sides anyway. Just do it. <gasps> <laughs> you went. You cut it deep that time. Oh, ooh! I got some skin there. Bo, what did you do? I didn't do it. You're the one who has the. Wait, no. Right yes, we did it. We did it. It's a gator cat or just on that. You can trade out that for a razor blade and start cutting it. You're gonna trust Fox with a razor blade? <laughs> oh yeah, no, just get a full ice skater, like sk skate rink, whatever you call. It. Like <laughs> this seems dangerous. Yeah, because they're not they're not safety scissors, but I believe in this one. Hold on, wait. Oh my gosh, how do I get close? I can't even. Are they super like the way his hair is skinny on them. <laughs> Look, he's bald right there. Brandy, Brandy, is it bad? <clears throat> Is it yeah, yeah, because you got a, like a big chunk that's dangling there that's still attached. <laughs> Pull that piece up right there. Oh, it fell. I'm, oh, just, no. gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> cover it up. Censor it with a stack and pop sticker. You can't censor it with a stack and pop sticker. <laughs> I mean, it is a chase. This is the Chase Box crown. That's a good look there with the sticker over the eye like I've had. Yeah, I feel fancy. I'm going to after this. 
You need me. Hey, Bo. What? Get a gang. <laughs> For life. <laughs> Uh, Ross, are you social distancing right. from Fox? Yes, I have Ross. to. Him. Ross, you can't come on unless you shave your head. He looks contagious. Oh, I did shave my head. Oh, okay, cool. Get a gang. Get a gang. <laughs> <laughs> so Ross is on here. He is running a quick waffle. Uh, it is for Otto. <clears throat> It's the 480 piece exclusive auto. I will share the screen here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, hang on. There it oh. is. That screen, not my screen. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Hey, Let me go Bo. back. Bo, have you ever seen this uh, pop before? Yeah, did you post it a minute ago? Because he's seen it right before we came on here. <laughs> Been up for a, it's been up for a day. Yeah, he you know, was saying like a picture of it a minute ago. In general. So you have how many spots left for us, Sig? Six spots. And they're eleven dollars a piece. Yep. Yes, Admiral. This is actually a pop that is limited. It's a limited four hundred eighty piece auto, <clears throat> and he's got six spots left. <coughs> We're trying to we're help. Doing it. We're He's doing running this, this for friends. Ross is one of our most uh, enforcing moderators. So yes, for sure. The hammer. I uh, it doesn't really. He isn't. Ten, I think, divine. He drops the hammer, but he's appreciated. So, how many? How many spots? To, uh, it's ten, right? Yeah, ten spots. Uh, there we go. All right. So silver has taken one. There's four spots taken. So there's number one, number two, number six, number eight, number nine, and number ten left. Oh, Ross, I want number eight. Wait, are these like wheel spots? Or yeah, are we gonna are we gonna just run a wheel or what? You tell me what you want to do. You can run a wheel. Last okay. last, last name out. <laughs> I already talked to the people that entered. They're fine with that. Okay. All right. So the uh, dibs to the chat. Uh, Clara's taking one. He's adorable. He reminds me of the. Uh, he reminds me of what's his name? That other one. Uh, what the purple auto? Yeah. There's no, no. green one. Of, uh, and the blue one. Okay. Right? It reminds me of Chet. You know Chet, the Funko thing? Yeah, the oh. one that he's got the, the flag in his hand, I think. Yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Chet. A lot. Okay, Chet when I'm not that. looking at you guys and I'm listening to the chat, I swear that Brandon sounds like Mitch sometimes. Me too. <laughs> yeah, when I was back in the kitchen, I was like, is Mitch on right now? That just Mitch. totally threw me for a loop. Apparently... Otto is a character derived from one of the OG Funko characters that they made back in the <laughs> early 2010s, which is so long ago. What else it was in the Funko world? Like one of their wacky wobblers, maybe? Yep. Yes. Yeah, I think a lot of those newer ones from the, are from the older stuff. Yeah, it says Spastic Plastic was Funko's line of original custom culture figures, along with Wacky Wobblers, Funko Visions, uh, No No Dinks, and Ross. What? Ross, you have folks in the chat uh, commenting for spots. Can you handle the uh, auditing of that, please? So it looks like Divine. Calvin oh. grab one. Looks like silver hair uh, wolf grab one. It looks like Daddy's a Daddy's asking about uh, spots. Uh, somebody else said something. Where's Christina Payne? There she is. Christina, help. <laughs> Ross. No, I was not. I was not paying attention though, so I'm way behind. 
Sorry, buddy. Okay, Silver Hair wants one. Divine wants one. Dead Zone's thinking about it. How many spots left? What's your count? Well, I see two confirmed, so... Four spots left? Which means four left. Okay, cool. Uh... I will close it out. One spot for a dead zone, one spot for Fox, one spot for Bo, and one spot for David. Nice. Caitlin! What? Hi. All right. Oh, I'm just let, I was just, Caitlin, I was just letting you know that you bought all the spots. Good night, Apple. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. There is the PayPal email. To send right there. Oh, it came in at seven oh two p.m. Okay, so, okay, so uh, I am, Claire I am is taking number things. eight. Yes. Is that right? I see. Divine says nine. Silver hair wolf says eight. And you should have four spots left after that, yes? Hang on one second. Let me get these people in. And so, Clara, it's silver. Ross, I need you to dictate. While she builds this wheel, you need yeah. to dictate what's going on with this, these spots. Yeah. Uh, pops. All right. So the number does not actually necessarily matter because it is going on to the random spinning wheel of happiness. So there's going to be everybody's name on the wheel. It's going to get shuffled nine times. And then once it's shuffled nine times, it's going to spin. And each time it spins, it's going to end on somebody's name. That person will be eliminated from the wheel, sadly. Um, so hang on a second. So um, let me get the rest of these in. And then if they want to, the one that he's gifted to you, want to call a number, we can let them call a number if they have. Nobody has to call a number. If it's on a wheel, just put a name. You could put Fox okay. for all. Actually, put Bo. Put <laughs> B-O for the four spots that Fox is paying. I thought you gifted one to Caitlin. Well, Kaylin is going to customize this thing anyway, and he's a good one. I, just I probably know. would. <laughs> it actually would. You know what you're going to do. Yeah, no, no. Uh, all four under Bo, please. Because okay. you know what you're going to do. If, uh, if Bo, well, I should say Bo's a winner. If Fox's spots lose, then we're going to make, we're going to send this to Kaylin and pay her $1 million dollars. To customize this one into auto. See? So everybody wins. <laughs> everybody wins. See, it's kind of like this. This was an old figure, you, too. Oh, you snazzy bass. Have you seen that one? But it's double sided. You take it out, it's mm -hmm. like the later. It's got two different faces. Yeah. I don't usually collect the original Funko stuff except for the Wetmore Forest. I got pretty much all of those. It's pretty much yeah. all I collect. Silver-haired foot wolf, it's eleven dollars for a chance at winning an eighty-five dollar pop. Shipped. Look at me go. Oh, nice. Pretty good. I did that pretty quickly, huh? All right, you want it shuffled nine times? Is that correct? Heck yeah. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me just make sure that I have. Sorry on there. Launch confetti. Yes, I... In 20 seconds, good? Or you want it shorter? No, that's good. Oh, 17 seconds. Can you do 17? 17? Ooh, I like I that. I can do 17. Sweet. Naturally. All right, so it's the last one on the wheel, yes? Exactly. We love and death. I'm going to tell you what. All the right, here we go. Seventh guys... person, wait, the seventh person out, I'm going to send a pop to. A, okay. A, a common pop, but whatever. 
The seventh, the seventh spin. The seventh, seventh person out. Eliminated. I'm gonna send oh, a random wow. pop too. This All right. Six. Well done, Brandy. I love the colors. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate the confetti. No, I love it. Like the layer wool. Yeah. Uh, send, send, <laughs> send me an IG or send me a DM on IG. I'm going to send you a sticker. I know that's not a big prize, but. Wow. Oh, get over here. Maybe a sticker. Oh, oh. It, it did click over. Holy Ooh. crap. Watkins. I feel like he's a yuck. Watkins, it's like the spice company. I need to write this down, though. So who am I sending a sticker to? I'm sending a sticker to Silver Air Wolf. Yep. Third one off is Zombie. Hey, Bow. Bow. It's looking good. It's looking good, Bow. Oh my gosh, I jinxed it. That's okay. You still got uh, three more spots left, Bo. All right, here we go. I don't know why the uh, cheering makes me laugh. Some reason, especially there's one little voice in the back of those, like, Oh, ow, sorry, zombie. Ah, uh, zombie. I don't think he's in figure. This, this is number six, right? Yep, this is number six. They're Four people left. So the next one will get a common pop. Next one gets a little pop. A little pop prize. And I have a bunch of them. So we will talk and you can tell me. I'll tell you what I have. You can pick one. All right. Here we go. So I'm not going to pick one for them. They get to pick one that I have. Oh. Ah. Bo gets Bo gets a pop. All right, Bo wins a pop for sure. It'll be fun because I think I have some pops that he's gonna like. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's between me and Divine. Is it? Red and green. I knew this was going to happen. Shit. <laughs> Hashtag rigged. I know it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's no way it's rigged. It, well, I, there's no way it's rigged. Hey, Justin Brat. Hey, Justin, what's going on? All right. <coughs> what? Are you, why are you looking at me that way? Yeah. You're not saying anything. What? What do you want me to do? I'm sorry, I was muted. Yeah, why, why are you muted? You did. Just letting the wheel spin. Hmm. Bo's okay. Bo's getting a pop. I wanted. I tried for that auto on father, uh, father, son, daughters for like a long time. I'm giving it to my dad. It's not for me. It's for my dad. <laughs> dad is into muscle car stuff. I'm giving Bo a Greedo. Autograph picture. Andy's getting a pop from Ross. Yeah, Bo, 
Are you okay with that, Fox? Bro, congrats, bro. Bo, like I'm Christmas for Bo. I'll be getting a hold of you. Do you do you only like Star Wars pops, or what else do you like besides Star Wars? What else do you like besides Star Wars? I like them. My characters. Like what other ones? Like Marvel. You like Star Wars, Marvel. Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't have any of those. He no. likes everything. Okay, I might even send you more than one pop. Who knows? But we're gonna have to talk because I don't want to send you a duplicate. And right. uh, that's fine. Troy says he's got something for you as well, too, Bo. Like, do you have? I mean, this is a common, but do you have this guy? I think this is so cool. Hold on, let me see. I can't see it. Oh wait, hang on. Let me put him full, full screen. You don't have that one, do you? No, we don't have that. One. No, we got the three pack, but we don't have that one. Okay, well that will be included. Yeah, that one's cool. Yeah, I like that one. That's not going to be the only one I send you, though. It's gonna you're gonna be happy, and you're gonna get one of these. That's an awesome sticker. Yeah, he loves stickers. Right so. here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you want more than one sticker? No. <laughs> no, that's what he's saying. He's trying to get them to go around there from everybody. Oh, okay. All right. So that's cool. That's awesome. I, I definitely have something he will like. And I, take it from me, Bo. Troy does amazing boxes. If you didn't see what I got today, you should go see. You should watch it. I got some cool stuff. I got I got talking Star Wars plushes. Oh, you know what else I have that I'm gonna put in? Because I, I, you know, I need to get rid of these things. It's not that I don't like them. It's just I don't have place for them. Boom. We don't have that one. Do we? No, we don't. Yeah, we don't have that one. All right, well, that's coming to you. See, Bo, you should have come on here a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, Caitlin, what are you working on right now? Anything good? Uh, I just finished one, uh, and I have a very, very small commission to do. Literally, it'll take me five minutes to do. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm kind of taking a small break. I like to take like a week-long break, because making stuff is what I do for a living, and this is still more of a hobby. So, you know, after I finish one, I like to work on stuff I get actually paid for. Okay. So, but uh, I finished the next one in the Zoo Crew series, which is what a series I'm doing on my channel. I'm Excuse me. Most people don't know about the Zoo Crew. I didn't know about it till a while back, but it was a lot. It's a comic book line that DC did ages ago. It's pretty much superheroes, but in Looney Tunes style. So I'm doing all the main characters from that league. So I got the pig character done this week. So I have to think of what else I'm going to work on next week. But for right now, I'm just working on stuff that I can actually get some money in for. <laughs> We're both. I have one more thing to show him. This was one of the first pops that I pulled out of the mystery box. And I thought this was one of the coolest things ever. And I couldn't believe how inexpensive it was. This is one of the coolest pops. But I don't collect Marvel. I love Marvel. I collect Batman. But do you have this? Yeah, we have that. Dang it. <laughs> I can't yeah, we have that one and the lighter one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was big on those when they came out. I think he got just about everything. I got all of them except MJ. Yeah. Such a cool pop, though. It is so yeah. amazing. Yep. Yeah. And then they had one that came in the uh, Collector Corps box. That it was the electronic one that lights up, too. Yeah, where did that one go? Yeah, the light up. I mean, the detail... Like on the inside of his cape, it's got like little diamond color, glowy mm -hmm. things. Sorry. Amazing. I've been up since five. Yep. Well, I'm glad we got that closed out for you, Ross. Um, you guys, I, I'm getting, I'm like dying over here. I've been up since five o'clock and I got to be back at work early tomorrow. But, so 
we're going to wrap it up a little earlier, like a couple 15 minutes earlier than normal. But um, everybody go check out Caitlin's channel, especially if you're going to do a, a custom for the benefit. Well, not even if you're going to do that. She's just got some really cool videos, some how to some really great pointers. Uh, everybody check out Stack and Pops and their, they have a YouTube channel and on Instagram. Caitlin's on Instagram. Obviously, we, we kind of touched on them tonight. Um, and go check out Stack and Pops Customs that he's got. He's got amazing pictures. Check out the glow on the child. It's amazing. Amazing. I know. Yeah, so you guys got a video up on it. I, I, yeah. I put a video up on there just so that people didn't say it was, you know, trick picture. You know how people are. Yeah. That's why I put the video up so that it's actually moving and they can see that it's not no photography or nothing like that. So. Well, Matthew, do you have to beat me in everything? You beat me and took the lino, and now yeah, you've been up since 4, 4.30, so you're saying you beat me on that, too. Before we sign off, can we say when that whole charity auction thing is going to be again? So we haven't picked pick which day of the week. It'll probably be the last Friday of July. Okay. Because I want that back, girl. <laughs> oh, the one I have? No, the one that... Oh, do you have the one that she made? Isn't that the one you sent me, right? The back... So no, that's I, Batman. Oh, that's Batman. Okay. The one I said he was a Batman. Yeah, Batman. Yes. Um, all right. Let me look at my calendar here. I put it. It's safe in the box. So I just, I didn't want anything to happen to it before the, the auction. So the last Friday will be the 31st of July. Gone collectibles. Yeah. If you got an extra MJ, I think that's the only one that he, he's missing from the set. Yeah. I just now seen your message. I'm just missing that one. That's it. Yeah. What's and then uh, MJ is the girlfriend. Troy's asking if Troy, why don't you just message them? It's it's Funko Pops, fun, Funko underscore Pops underscore and underscore unicorns. And then Stackin is S T A C K I N Pops. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't even reading most of the messages over i had the screen scooted over looking at pictures on there so yeah uh, yeah you can you can get a hold of them or troy property outlaws is, is looking to get a hold of both of you guys if you guys he wants to talk to you guys so um okay. we'll work something out but thank you guys for coming on you guys gave me so many hints and tips and tricks uh i will continue to watch you know your videos caitlin because literally i learned so much in in the time i've been watching you message me anytime you want if you have a question i'm Okay, that goes for anyone. I don't really care. So anyone. Yeah, she's to... been she's been awesome. To, I mean, literally since we we started talking, she's been fantastic. So um, and I th I mentioned it earlier, but if you guys didn't see it earlier, she has a unicorn of, of a Freddy Funko, and she's also sending us that for the the charity auction as well. So that will be up that night as well. And I'm going to make a custom. Ross is going to make a custom. Mama J and or Spectre is making a custom. Uh, I think when, did you you, you need, when did you say you, so we send them to you or what? Yeah. And then we're going to use the Patreon funds that we've built um, to, to pay for the shipping. They'll go out to the winners. And then oh, when, right. so when do you have to have them? I need to have them no later than I would say the 28th. Well, probably 27th or 28th. Cause I got to get all the pictures taken and get that ready to go. So that people can see them. Of July. Right. Yeah, of July. Okay. Gotcha. Sweet. So, yeah, if, if anybody else is interested or you guys are going to do one, just make sure that you DM me on Instagram so that I know that you guys are going to participate so I can start kind of keeping track of what's supposed to be coming. I already have Caitlin's Custom Pop, the Batman. Um, I have the three splats from um, Xavier. Here. I have a custom Vanzer Ramble coming. Um, they shipped that out today. And uh, Spassy Collectibles is in for a $50 gift card. Wait, so, wait, what about the Batgirl? Is that getting sent to you? Caitlin, are you sending me that one too? No. I was uh, just that Batman though. Yeah, oh, she's like the oh, Batman. The Batgirl's yeah. not for auction. Okay. No, sorry. <laughs> no. I was just talking about one that I made. You wouldn't want that one for auction, because I promise you, the one Funko made is way better. Talking about the Batwoman I was talking about? Uh-uh. It's not good enough for this auction. I like it. that. It's got an upside-down logo. Anyway. No, that one is. That's a Batman. It's Bizarro Batman. Oh. Like that girl. <laughs> yeah, it's just in pink. It's Bizarro. That's why it's pink and purple. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. 
Hang on, I can go back to it. No, I'm, I'm bidding on that. Yeah, so the, the, one, the one that that you saw in the picture that has the pink outfit on, I have in my possession. Uh, yeah, okay. And that will be up for the auction. I think I'm going to customize an anime pop. Oh, that would be fantastic. That would be that'll be fun. And uh Claire says that will be hers. Or are you talking about the ramble? I have a feeling people are going to over that ramble. And you guys, I have another person coming on. So these guys were talking about pops. I have Cata Customs coming on. Um and they're gonna talk about she does custom jankies. Um so she will be on I think July eighth, I think is when she's coming on. Uh so I met her recently and um, she, she does the custom painting jobs too, just like these guys. So she's coming on, give you guys another, uh, something to look at that, you know, that you can look at about doing it's, it's a little bit smaller than the pops. So, uh, you know, just trying to make it easy on everybody. But the, the best thing is, is like, you're putting a piece of yourself and your channel out into the world. Um, it's something that no one else will ever have. So it's, it, that's why I think it's so special. Um, because, you know, with Troy's charity involved, these kids don't get the same chances that healthy kids do. And they don't have the opportunities that, that not all of them, I mean, some of them do, but not all of them have the same opportunities. And so for us to, to take that one, and every little bit helps, especially when their fundraiser was canceled because of COVID. So I'm, I'm proud of us for doing this, but you know, you guys know that I'm a big uh, believer in that everybody gets something. Uh, I know you guys are saying, well, I don't have to have it. I don't, have, but it, but it's cool because, you know, everybody who bids on something is going to get some, well, if you win, you, you get something, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel that's the better way to go so that everybody um, goes home happy and with something. So um, yeah, is Bo okay? He looks tired. Bo, you're of you. I'm the one over here yawning and Bo's like, woo, Greedo. So where is this, um, where's these auctions taking place at? So it'll be on our channel that night, um, and I haven't figured out. I ha I yanked our name for a, 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 ch a website, so I'm not sure if I'm going to put them up on the website or if I'm going to put individual pictures up on my Instagram, um, mm -hmm. the Night Owl Instagram, and so that we'll just do a silent auction and who at, the, at you know we'll show the pictures on here, uh, and then we'll give like 10 or 15 minutes for it to close, and then whoever has the highest bid at the end of that will win that. So um, oh, the unicorn. I'm gonna fight you on that one, Clara. <laughs> yeah, and dead zone. Dead zone and I are in the same place. Yeah, work has been super busy. This is my busy time of year. So um, but yeah, it'll be that night. We're gonna figure it out. Either it'll be I don't wanna take so much time in between everything, you know, to keep things fun and things moving and doing some other stuff. So I think what I'll probably do is is put the pictures somewhere and then people can comment, you know, what what they want to bid, just like a silent auction at, at a at a fundraiser. So thank you, Dead Zone. <laughs> Fun. New sub here. Oh. Oh yeah. I also subbed to both of you tonight. Oh, look at that. Yep. And I don't. I don't think anybody wanted swag because I don't think we ended up at five hundred. I tried. I posted it on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> we ended up at four seventy five. So, so we did hit another two buddy milestone there. So, thank you to everybody who got us to four seventy five. Got twenty five to go. Um, we may have hit 7,000 views tonight too. So, you know, the, I, I like hitting those milestones just because it's, it's something to look forward to. And it's something we, you know, we're like, woohoo. Um, but all right, guys, well, I'm going to end tonight. I'm got to go to bed. I have to be back up at five. So, uh, thank you guys all for coming. I appreciate it. And I will probably b be reaching out to you guys. Cause I know nothing about this. I can airbrush icing like nobody's business, but I cannot airbrush a pop, but Bo, thanks buddy. It was like Christmas tonight. You got a bunch of stuff yeah, coming. He said thank you to everybody. So, and thanks for having us on. We appreciate it. Oh, you know, anytime. I'll get a hold of you guys. Get your shipping stuff. Okay. Thank you. You bet. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you everybody. Good night, chat. See ya. Right. See you guys on Friday. Later.